That's farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. Oh my gosh. Hello all you beautiful internet people that I can't see. Or can I? (laughs) <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us one more time. I'm Chris. That's Lyle. We're those taste bud guys. And hey, if you haven't taken the time to like and subscribe, we'd appreciate if you did that right now for us. Ring that bell down there and hit the thumbs up and, uh, you know, help us make us popular because we wasn't in high school. He wasn't in high school. What? I wasn't in high school. I was a musician. Uh, he sense. was a nice symbol. <laughs> <laughs> I was in band. <clears throat> he was. Anyways, nothing. <laughs> um, okay, what are we doing again? All right, not again. Who are we doing again? Balconies. Balconies. Hey, you know what? Here's what I'd love. One, just one time. I wish Balconies on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube would really acknowledge our existence. Any of the social media things would just say, we love those taste bud guys just in a comment yeah. it doesn't have to be on your page. I mean it's only the fourth or fifth bottle we've done just say we love say, hey, those taste bud guys you know so if you guys would like go onto their web page and say hey, we love you know, those, taste, those bud guys. taste bud guys and you know I'd be killed they were drunk but they were doing all your stuff and they really <laughs> liked it yeah be nice um, but they haven't so whatever so we're doing balconies uh, this time we're doing their Texas pot stilled bourbon um, these guys do some fantastic stuff they We've really done, uh, what have we done? We've done their Ooh. Brimstone, was our very first. Yes. Uh, we did uh, the Balcone, or not Balconies, the... Um, Texas Bach. Texas Bach, yeah. Uh, we did the Baby Blue. I don't know if we... We definitely did. opened it. We definitely opened it. I don't know if we've done or not. We definitely uh, We did it. the Rye. The Rye was the one we did. Yeah. Fantastic. I think we Fantastic. Did the, when did, if we haven't done the Baby Blue, we got to do it before we drink it all. All right, so now we're on just their good old Texas bourbon. Straight bourbon. Um, these guys have a very, like, specific flavor profile that runs. They do. I am convinced that if you set out a hundred bottles in front of me of different uh, distilleries, I could tell you exactly which one is Balcones. Yeah. Let's see if that holds true with this one. But it's held true in all the other ones that I've had. Yep, it does. It does. Okay. Man. Mm. Big fan of these guys. Um. This is the antithesis of Tennessee bourbon. When you talk about like, like smooth whiskey. antithesis, I missed that word. I'm like, this is an Tennessee bourbon. They're from, <laughs> they're from Waco, Texas. <laughs> no, I got what you're saying now. It's like, of all the stuff of uh, about you know Woodford and Blanton's and all this like Weller and all these super smooth whiskeys, um, Texas just doesn't have that. Probably somewhere they have it going on. But it ain't Balcones. Texas Balcones is over there and they're like, smooth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they just kick it up a notch. Yeah. No, they're not Which They're not at all into smooth. But I don't hate that. And, you know, I'm not getting that same. I, I'm convinced it's the water. It's the water that does it. But you there's something. The I think it's their water. I there's know. something about the way they do that that makes it completely think, identifiable. But there's got to be something. When was there a date on the back of what's it say? Uh, 2020. March of 20. March 2020. That's, that's a year old. This is, uh, this is COVID. COVID. Birth. Pre-COVID. No, I guess it's right at birth of COVID. Birth of COVID. It's COVID whiskey. No, not birth of COVID. Bottle that. Had Bo- to be bottled, 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 bottled on 20. So this is 18, 2018. At least 2018. Maybe more. Right. We're not sure. Whatever. We don't know. Stop talking. Loud. Guess what we didn't do before the show. <laughs> Research. Look anything up. Um, We're not even sure Balcones is the way you say this. Well, that's... I guess, that, I guess that's fair, right? Well, who knows? It's good. How else would you say it? <laughs> Balcones? I actually believe I have heard one person say Balcones. Balcones? Like, it could be Balcones. I, like, I would go with Balcones. Alright. There's I'm, people out there screaming at the like hitting the little arrow right now, skip forward 10 seconds because <laughs> Tell us what it tastes like. Because they're like, come on, get to the damn review. All right, nose, you still get that scrub oak stuff that's on the brimstone, but not quite as much. It's not super 
I mean, it may well, not I don't be, think it, it's a scrub oak. You may not be scrub oak, but it, again, I go back. I think it's their water. But I don't like, think it's, it's their fiery. It's smoky. It's, it is that. There is that that edge of weird rust. raw. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like gritty raw material that goes into it, almost like a tree sap. Yeah, that's a that's a good description. Tree sap. 100%. I could tell you that was Balconies. Oh. I don't care Woo. how many whiskeys you put in front of me. I could tell you that was Balconies. So the first sip, it's 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 um the sweetness on the on the very first blush belies what's coming after you because it's like it's like oh I got a bit of a like a mintiness on the very first when it hit my tongue. I was like, "Oh, kind of minty. This is weird. Oh, never mind." So yeah, there's like this this like it's like an eyedropper of like mint sweet, like sweet mint eucalyptus. Tea. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll you go with that. With um, <laughs> like a very, like an eyedropper of that, and then it's immediately like a big slap in the face um, with big oaky flavors. Okay. Just, I mean, it's just big. I don't know how to describe it other than just big, bold. They Can't surely I... aren't using that, that scrub oak on this. I don't And the so, weirdness but... is, I don't taste the oak. I, I just. I... You know, people talk about High West Campfire all the time being like this super smoky whiskey. I think that this... I'm sorry. I'm not on that train. I I, I know people love it. I am not on the train. I, I think those people haven't had a good smoked whiskey. This... I know this isn't smoked, but like, I think that this puts that to shame in terms of like boldness of flavor. I would put this on the, on the same level as like Booker's in terms of... Hot, I big, don't bold care much for bookers. Though, I know, so you that's don't. tough to. I know, I know, I know. You don't like bookers. I like well, bookers. actually, I shouldn't say I don't. It's too hot for me. If you ice it down, let the water melt a little bit, it's not bad. It's a sipping whiskey for me, but it's 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 too hot for me. And we're mostly talking about the kitchen table. That's true. That is yeah, serious. Yeah. Hmm. There's like it almost no, has a pine note in it. Though. I was gonna say there's like no sweet notes in this. This is just. Maybe a this, l- maybe a little bit of sorghum. This has got to still be the, the sorghum. That's a good. Yeah, you know, this has got to be done in scrub oak though. But I think your sorghum is right. It's a bitter sweetness. Ah, uh, it does not say what it is aged in, what kind it's aged in. Oh, hey, hang on. Let me just grab Rick's phone there. Um, all right. Here's what they say. Honey crisp apples? No. Nope. Toasted oak? Yes. yes. Kettle corn? Sure. Yeah. Graham cracker? All right. Mm. Oiled glove? Yeah, I may. Are we writing mm, this? We... I don't know if I've got a glove down here. And... Are we writing these tasting notes? I what think the we're hell's writing... an oiled glove? <laughs> Who in the hell made up oiled glove? <laughs> I mean, who's go- who's actually going to say, no, I. I've tasted an oiled glove. That is absolutely That's not what it tastes like. On. Yeah. No. Um, no. 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 Okay. Okay. These, whatever. These, oiled. At, at the at our local market, these guys are running what like thirty to forty bucks a bottle. Roughly. Um, top ends fifty. You might find them in that forty range, thirty eight range, something like that. Yeah. So um, all in all, I mean, I we got a steal on this one. We no surprise. We bought this second hand, but yeah, still. No surprise, uh, we enjoy this very much. Um, I love their unique flavor. They do have a bit of a, a pine tree sap, I think, is the way I want to describe it. Anything from Balconies, I feel like, has its own place on your shelf. And the other I, nice thing is that like, the bottles look great, labels look great, having a row of them next to each other just looks fantastic on your shelf. I will say I expected this mm-hmm. to be an aged version of this mm-hmm. and yeah. it's absolutely not and talking about how they look next to each other we're just doing ahead. the whole, just yeah, doing the whole thing ahead. all right we're doing yeah, let's, right. let's go ahead and give balconies a huge shout out since they haven't actually give us we love our, um, those guys but gosh on your no i got that one up there where's oh. the right there it is red bottle oh brimstone brimstone this is how many of these we've put up here, and then so far they have failed to like a single post. So if you guys would flood their Facebook and you know whatever their want, website is, I'm not is. asking for much. I just no, want, we're not even asking for anything. Just an acknowledgement that we exist. I just want just one. We love 
those taste bud guys. Thanks for drinking our whiskey. Yeah, we like you guys. You can say it verbatim. I'll still be pleased. That's fine. <laughs> We're, we agree with that. Um, all right. <clears throat> you got anything else to say Still about? love it. I think we do have to still do the Baby Blue at some point. Yes. And I do contend this is probably one of the more unique flavors, though I thought that... Shiner? I, you look I thought about the... You know, where the hell is that? Brimstone. Brimstone was going to be the most <laughs> unique flavor up there, and it kind of is... But these four actually carry through with a kind of theme yeah. with that flavor. The one that stands out is Spacey actually blue. this one, yeah. oddly enough, which incidentally is the first one of them I've ever had. Yeah, uh, we will. Brighter, do, hotter, and kind of a different thing altogether. We'll do another review of that one. Uh, until next time. Whether it be the balconies you're trying to throw under the bus. On the way. What is it? Close your one. Close your, Close your one. one. <laughs> People you're meeting. Oh, it's so uh, the people you're meeting, grab a buddy and try something. No. I think that was the wrong line. Yeah, probably.